Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to forge a split cross out of a one inch thick piece of rebar. When you pick up your piece of rebar, you're going to notice these notches. You're going to count back six notches on your piece of rebar, and that's where we're going to make our first cut. We're going to have to make several cuts on this piece of rebar to complete this build. Now for this, you're actually going to be cutting down the spine of the rebar horizontally, and I used an angle grinder, and as you can see, it was pretty messy. But you could also use a hacksaw, which would just take even longer, or you could use a bandsaw. The bandsaw would probably be the best option, but you could use any of them. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to count up three notches from our first mark, and we're going to put another mark, and we're going to cut it off into where our other cut was. And for our next cut, we are going to be counting back nine notches from the beginning of our rebar, and then that's where we're going to be putting our next mark. We're actually going to be cutting all the way through the rebar for this next cut. And for our last cut, this is where things can get tricky. We are going to go back from where we just last cut our rebar, and we're going to be cutting an intersection all the way down past through where our last cut was, but we're going to be cutting in a different direction. But we want to have about a one inch gap of intersection. And right here, you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I mean intersection. Our cut is going past our other cut, so that you can actually see a hole when you're looking down the front end of the rebar, so that there's actually an intersection of about one space of the rebar notches, as you can see. Now we are going to be splitting open the cuts that we made in our cross. I found that putting an axe head in my vise was pretty easy for splitting it open, but you could use the angle of your anvil if it's sharp enough, or just something sharp. Once you split it all the way open, you should have somewhat of a cross shape. Now I'm just putting quick bevels on all the points. I just think it looks better, but you do not have to do this step.
and here's the cross after forging. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the whole cross with a wire wheel on an angle grinder just to kind of make it look pretty. And here's the cross all finished up. And as you can see, I did cold stamp some initials on the back of it. That's because this was a gift for a friend. And I did end up taking down the edges on the side because they're a little pointy with a belt grinder, but you don't have to do that. I actually had made one of these before, so I learned a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.